All right, now that we have the tools installed for us, let us go and write a simple hello world program. And uh, I'll be showing you how to compile and run that program from the command line by using the terminal. I'll be using the integrated VS Code terminal. And since that will be a tardy process, I'll also show you how to use the VS Code's task.json file. All right, now let's get into code over here and just create a simple file in the source directory called main.c. All right. Now, if you do that slash thing over here, it creates a folder called src and in that it will create a main.c file. All right. That's cool, right? Now, let us. Now, since you, you can see this intelligence thing coming for us because we added that ccpp properties.json file and I'll just you, you can also see snippets coming from me if I tap main and if I tab it, I get this and I'll just do a simple printf over here. Let's do hello there. The general Kenobi way, you know, I'm a Star Wars fan by the way. Okay. You don't need to have a return statement because this is a main pro main function, but yeah, that's fine. Now let me toggle the terminal by using control back tick. I think uh, that is how we do it. Or you can go to view and uh, terminal. You see that control back tick. All right. Now to compile this program, we should, we'll be using the GCC compiler and uh, we, I can, I don't need to have that C program files thing because I already had it that bin folder to the path and uh, I'll have to provide the name of the file, which is the input file. And if I just press enter, oh yeah, I, I don't have it because uh, it is in the SRC folder. Okay. If I just do that, you can see uh, a.exe produced for me and I can just run that a.exe by using uh, dot slash and it will just show that hello there over me. All right. Now, what if I create another file here over here? And what if I want to name this not a.exe but something else? All right. Now, to do that, since that is the output file or object file to be precise, those hyphen o flag should be provided and we can just give it a name called main.exe. All right. Now, when we do that, you can see a main.exe produced for me. And instead of a.exe this time, I can run my main.exe and I'll just get the uh, same output. But this is quite tardy process, right? Because we keep on creating so many files, C programming files in this series and we'll be having lots and lots of folders over here and lots of files and we can't just compile them in the terminal directly every time. So instead of doing that, what we have is known as tasks.json file, which uh, is also a .vs code file. All right. Now let me come to VS Code and create a new file called tasks.json. All right. Cool. Now I'll paste that uh, thing over here. These are just some console configuration. You don't need to worry about that. Now there are two tasks over here. One is to compile this file into an executable and another is to run that executable. All right. So to compile it, we're just having the command as GCC. That's what, uh, we did over here, right? Which is GCC and uh, the document is hyphen G for debugging. I did not involve it over here, but yeah, we can have that. And the name of the file and we can use task.json files in built variables, which is this syntax over here, dollar and these template strings. By default, this file will be whatever the file currently opened in the editor because now main.c is open. Now this will be the value of that file. If task.json is open, that will be the value of the file. Okay. And I want the output uh, file's name as uh, file based name no extension, which is just uh, the name of the file without the extension. All right, because if the name of the file is main.c, now this variable will be main, all right, without c or something, and we'll just append the dot exe over here. Okay, and you see that I'm uh, adding all the executable files into a folder called out, similar to how I'm having my source files in the src folder. So let me also create that out directory over here, and I'll just delete this whole suckers. Cool. Now. Yeah, these are just uh, normal configurations and everything. Now, this doesn't work if you're on uh, Linux because uh, you don't have executable files and all that in Linux or Mac. So what I did is the command in Linux specifically is user of NGCC. I'm providing the full path unlike this over here. And uh, also the executable files output file will be having a dot out uh, extension. And if you're on OS X or so that means Mac, uh, just you can see that Mac specific command configuration, the compiler name will be Clang. And uh, there'll be no con, uh, you know, extension for the output file. That is how Mac users prefer to do it. 
now okay we'll be compiling the programs and we'll be having the executables in our out directory now what after that we'll have to run that file and to run that file whatever file is open if we press if we uh, use the task to run that file it'll just the command will be out slash and that file base name no extension dot exe because that's what if i'm on main dot c this variable will be main and dot exe so main dot exe will be in the out directory out slash main dot exe will be running and it's just whatever we are doing in the command line we are just providing over to here using command and arg args uh, fields over here in the json file okay now the most important thing over here is the group is by default is default to true so that if i am using this uh, terminal run build task control shift b which is a keyboard shortcut the default task will be running and the de default task is this uh, run task not the compile task now you might be thinking if the default task is a run task we'll have to compile it first and then press control shift b right you don't need to do that because uh, you see the little label thing over here this label is compile and this label is run and uh, this run task depends on the compile task so whenever we are using the default control shift b to run this program it also first ensures that we are compiling the program and only then it will run the file all right and it also have that linux and os x specific configurations like because we don't have dot exe files in linux and os x we have that specific extensions over there all right now yeah this is a very good task or json file i've spent some time and read the documentation to build this so i advise you to follow this and have this in your thing Okay, now we can see the magic. Uh, I'm going to press Control Shift B, and you'll see first it is compiling. Though Control Shift B is a default task, is run, and then it is running the file, and we get hello dot there. And by default, you can see my cursor is not in the editor but in the terminal. And uh, if you press Enter, it just closes it, and yeah, it's done. Okay. So yeah, that's cool. That is how we use task.json file. Now, whenever we want to create, and you also see that uh, main.ex executable being produced in the out directory. So our code is quite structured now. We have the source files in SRC and output files in out directory. All right. Now in the next video, I'll be showing you how to debug your code and write some loops and all to uh, have some watch commands and stepping through debugger and everything.